changed my hat so y'all can see me. What's going on guys? What is going on guys? John G here. Just wanted to touch base with you guys. Let you know this is four days after my wisdom teeth removal. I just got my wisdom tooth taken out. Craziest experience I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I've never been put to sleep, none of that. So I'm gonna give you guys my experience, what happened. Fortunately, no horror stories, nothing crazy happened. So far, so good. Like I said, four days in and I'm feeling fantastic. So let's get under way. And also you guys know the deal. Hit the bell, hit the sub. Subscribe to the channel, more vlogs, more, more new stuff. Check it out, okay? All right, thank you. Just this camera here. All right, guys, first things first. Wisdom teeth removal. Always be sure you get sedated. So I had the dock, and I'm just going for a little stroll here. I had the, uh, when I met the doc here, he was pretty much like, hey, John, you know, how you doing? I was like, this is going to be the first time someone puts me to sleep. And he's like, that's what I recommend. We'll do a, uh, you know, essentially, a, uh, we'll sedate you. And when you get sedated, that's pretty much like you're kind of in like the twilight zone. Twilight zone. Twilight zone. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the twilight zone. It's kind of like a magical kind of kind of feel. And I'm all I'm also still a little bit swollen too, so you guys might might be able to notice that I'm still a little swole. One thing, if you guys are really worried about getting put under, or getting put to sleep, one, I recommend you get put to sleep. Make sure you go to sleep. Make sure you get sedated because the surgery probably just goes a lot easier and it's it's like a quick tap like it's like instant when you go to sleep you're pretty much you know you're out like that like it's it's you're gone for a second you wake up about five minutes later and it's it's good to go i'm also a little salty about this too they they charge me like 200 dollars just to get a scan to get my teeth checked and i was like extremely salty about that uh, but they were the lady was pretty much like yeah we have to do a, a scan they call it a ct scan and it takes literally like five seconds like put your mouth on this like device, you clamp your teeth on it, it takes about five seconds. And then she's like, yeah, that'll be $220. And I was like, what? So just, just kind of be prepared for that. that. That's definitely something that can happen as well. And yeah, yeah, I'm currently editing this right now. I'm jumping in though. Cause my freaking video, the, the blurry noise was, it got too blurry. It got too crazy. The wind was taken over. So here's a, hold on. Let me, let me adjust myself. Let me get in here. We're going freestyle, but uh, here's what the clip would have sounded like if I kept letting it play. Nose thing that they put right into your nose and they put you to sleep. Sorry, I'm sweating a lot too, guys. It's like Audio was just unbearable. You guys weren't able to hear it when it came to the procedure that the main part when I actually got my wisdom teeth taken out. Also preparation is key. Just be mentally prepared that they're gonna put you to sleep if you're doing a sedation procedure. Everything's going to be fine, okay? Uh, just think, keep that in your mind as well. You know, they do, these doctors do these millions and millions of times, these surgeons do these millions and millions of times throughout, you know, years and thousands of times throughout the, the current year. So just, just think everything's gonna be fine. You know, nothing's gonna go wrong, hopefully. And you know, uh, everything should be good. Another thing when it comes to preparation, be sure you get all of your stuff that you need that you're gonna be eating before the surgery. Don't be a silly person, don't be an idiot, don't try to do everything after. Um, get that stuff, you know, here's a list, here's a here's a whole set of quick video that I recorded of the wisdom tooth, I call it the survival guy. Check it out. I gotta have a sauce boss, a ton of applesauce ready on deck. Gotta have them taters, gotta have something savory, you know, mac and cheese. I don't need none of this stuff too. It's going to mess on my diet, but it's all liquid, so it's good. Snack pack. Get some of that sugar in my life. And that blue bell. Look at that ice cream. Look at that homemade vanilla. Oh, and this is just like a little, a little head pack. Head pack on my face. Yay. So the day of the procedure. Um, the day of the procedure went, went really well. Mine was like super early in the morning. It was at 8 a.m. So I couldn't, uh, before your procedure, you can't eat about eight hours before, uh, so which was perfect. But for me, I've been doing things like intermittent fasting and certain dieting. So there's like 
you know, 16 hours out of the day, I already don't eat. So that wasn't a problem for me at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, we got there and it was about um, about 8 a.m. You know, my surgery was like at 8 15. Um, also, one thing, if you guys don't know, I don't I don't I don't think I brought this up, but the, the docs will let you know and everything like that, your surgeon. But you do have to bring somebody with you, um, a responsible uh, driver or good friend, be sure to bring somebody that is going to be able to have to, of course, take you home because you will not be able to operate your vehicle. So I get in there and um, due to um, the coronavirus, cause I currently got my wisdom teeth taken out um, with the whole coronavirus pandemic, um, the uh, nurses, you do have to sign a form specifically saying you haven't been with anybody with COVID or you know know anybody, which is just insane. If you got COVID or if you've been hanging out with people with COVID, don't be going to the doctor to do dental and stuff like that. I guess in, in case if it's like that big of an emergency, but that's just wild to me that someone would do that. So I get there and you know, they have to do a temperature check. They have to make sure I'm good. I'm good in the hood. I gotta make sure I'm all good and ready to go. Make sure I ain't passing around no viruses to anybody. But uh, once that was set, then uh, they pretty much took me into the room. And when they take you into the room, it's just a, a basic, at least for my surgery, it was a basic dental room and it was very bland, a regular dental chair, one that I didn't even lay all the way back in. I just kind of sat in. There's a few nurses in there. Then they they, uh, they they started strapping me up, getting me set. Some people I heard they get like their whole wrists like, you know, strapped up and, you know, knocked out and good to go. But for me specifically, they didn't they didn't have to do all that. So then they put these little nozzles in your nose and, and get you ready and set for laughing gas. And uh, um, I really couldn't tell I had really laughing gas. I just felt pretty regular, at least in my case. So I wasn't feeling any funnier, any, you know, any different at all, actually. And then, you know, we're just kind of chopping up, making conversation as they're plugging all this shit in me. <laughs> next thing you know, you know, they got a little TV playing so I can watch some TV. And then next thing you know, Doc comes in and uh, my main surgeon and, uh, you know, he was just, he seemed like, I mean, I know they do the surgery a lot, but he was ready to go. He was just... He's ready to knock this out and get it knocked out here. They do put um, some um, like heart rate checkers on you where you can start hearing your heart rate. So they had to put one like on my chest, on my abdomen, and then somewhere else, I can't remember. But um, once they put those on, then you can start hearing your heart rate actually going. There's a machine that was behind me. And you know, you hear the beep, 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 beep. And then mine started slowing down. Cause I was actually pretty, I was pretty, I was ready to go. I, I, you know, as long as you guys mentally prepare yourself, that's the main thing. Just mentally prepare yourself and you will be good to go. So Doc comes in. First off, my nurse, um, they try to actually inject the main thing that's gonna make me go to uh, pass out or send me to the twilight zone. And I'll, I'll dive deep in that a little bit later. But, um, she tries to plug it in and first she tries to plug it in like my forearm and she fails miserably and she's like oh i have to do it again and then uh the doc comes in when she was taking it out and he was like damn he's like what you what you doing you failing and she was like oh my gosh she's like i'm so sorry and doc was like i'm sorry too and i was like god dang all right well they, they messed up the first time <laughs> so then they they try again uh this time doc does it and the doc also tries uh, a vein in my forearm to plug it in um, and he, then he fails on that one the second time too. So it took me, it took them three times to actually get, you know, the right vein and get it sedated. Uh, they then get, uh, my hand, a, uh, a vein in my hand and they finally get me, uh, the, the juice. They finally get the night, night juice in me. Yay. <laughs> Once that's in, uh, pretty much the only thing I could really feel was just the, whatever that syrup, you know, the, the night, night juice, let's just call it that. Uh, the dream, the imagination juice. Say it with me, guys. Imagination. <laughs> Once they put that in me though, um, I only really felt like a cold feeling going up my form and that could just be like the liquid going through my vein. Who knows? But it just kind of felt like a little cold feeling like someone was possibly rubbing like an ice pack over my my forearm some people told me like the doctor like the the surgeons would do like a countdown they'll be like okay and you'll be going to sleep 10 9 countdown with me my surgeon didn't do none of that we were just pretty much hanging out he was getting ready to do his procedure um there was one thing i started filling the laughing gas a, just a little bit and then i kind of was trying to make small talk with everyone and the nurses and i was like what are you guys plans on the weekend because i did mine on a friday 
and they're like, oh, nothing. And then um, next thing you know, I was, I was pretty much out. Now, when I say out, you're not like 100% out. It's really weird. Like you're in this, like, like you don't feel dizzy. At least I didn't feel dizzy or anything. I just felt like I was just gone and I couldn't remember anything. I don't remember any of the procedure um, except one part. There's a couple times actually where I, I kind of, there's like a sense, I wouldn't say you wake up because you're never truly asleep, like your conscience, but like you can't like do shit and you don't remember what's going on really. Um, so there were two times where I felt like, I just felt like I was lying there and um, you know, you could feel like kind of like the red glare, like, you know, like when you have your eyes closed and like you look at a sun or through a light and you see like the red glare going through your eyelid. I had that feeling twice and I tried to like open my eyes to see what was going on. And then when I opened my eyes, all I saw was like, I could only lift them up a little bit. And I was, I was just able to see like the lights that were on me from the surgery. And then, um, I was kind of thinking to myself, well, I shouldn't really open my eyes and get too crazy. So I just kind of closed them again. But I'm sure they probably saw I was opening up my eyes, so they probably just hit them with the night night juice. Just give them more of that juice. And there, there was another time where I felt that they were in my mouth and doing crazy stuff, and I started like moving my hands, like I was dancing or something, or doing like all kinds of silly stuff. And then I, I felt one of the doctor's hands, they uh, or the nurse's hands, they like grab my hands and put them down on my lap and then I was like okay you know I gotta make sure I'm not doing anything too stupid also if you guys want to look at videos of the surgery because you're crazy like I was <laughs> uh, definitely look up the videos at the a after the whole procedure is taken care of don't watch the videos before because I actually I didn't watch the videos before I just watched like people's other people's experiences and their stories but I watched the video of the surgery after I got mine taken out and I was so glad if I would have watched it before I would have been so like even probably a little bit more nervous because there's some teeth that the doctor has to like pry in there and like snap your tooth in half to pull out others come out easier and then they have like this thing they cut open it's all kinds of stuff so I recommend don't watch surgery videos until after, but if you wanna be a boss, if you wanna do your thing, you can watch it. And then after the procedure, guys, uh, you you know, you, when you wake up, for me, I just kind of just woke up and they were like, John, are you good? And I was like, yep, I'm good. And uh, they give you these two little gauze mouth packs. It's kind of like, um, I don't know, like the little medical wraps or medic wraps, whatever they are, but they have those in your mouth. They give you a packet of those to wear throughout your procedure. Um, and they come in really handy because they stop the bleeding and uh, they kind of put a little bit of pressure on those those sore gums uh, to make things feel a, a little bit a bit nicer. But um, then um, pretty much they, they give your gauze pack, they send you on your way. They do also put like your teeth in your teeth in a little baggie if you want to keep those but it's kind of gross <laughs> not gonna lie once I was able to get out of there I was able to start you know at least film do a couple of videos of my my goofy self on sedation so uh, here that is and now We in the game. We in the game. EA Sports is in the game. Ah. Just want to let y'all know, man. I love each and every one of y'all watching this video. Y'all real cool. Y'all are y'all always special to me. And I appreciate y'all being friends and being on here for real. Y'all cool. Y'all cool, motherfuckers. Y'all cool. For real. All in all though, it was a fun experience. I enjoyed it. I had I wouldn't say I had fun, but it was just a finally an interesting experience in my life of just getting a tooth, you know, getting put under, getting put to sleep. Um, but main question is, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. One, have you gotten your wisdom teeth pulled out already and you're just watching this? 
let me know how your experience was and for those who haven't gotten if you're getting ready for your procedure tell me when it's going down is it happening tomorrow is it happening today is it happening next week are you just thinking about it if you're getting a lot of pain in your mouth guys go go get this taken care of don't stress on it don't fret on it you know the horror stories there are some terrible stories but they rarely happen get yourself taken care of get it set trust me you're gonna uh thank yourself in the long run that being said thanks for watching the video guys i hope this has prepared you got you a little bit more ready for your wisdom teeth removal if you're doing that and to give you a little bit more insight if you're just curious um all you lucky people that are possibly watching this that didn't have wisdom teeth grow in you suck but thanks for watching the video anyways guys uh, hit the bell hit the sub uh new videos whenever i feel like it post you know Hit me up, comments, follow me on IG, follow me on Facebook, all that stuff. All right, guys, you guys take it easy. Have a great rest of your day.